Welcome to the Nav Viking tutorials. I'm Johannes Gudmundsson, founder of Anecta, a Microsoft Dynamics NAV Gold certified partner. Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to the Coffee Mug tutorials again. Um, we are talking about year end. So I was just going to discuss a little bit today about uh, dimensions. Uh, last video we pointed to uh, closing of the year. We have a video on that, how to do physical inventory counts. Uh, we have a video on that uh, for normal warehouses. But one thing I want to talk about is dimensions. Now, if you're running NAV, you can, I am right here in NAV 2018. Uh, if I go into dimensions, you probably are already using dimensions uh, if you're using NAV. Chances are. And uh, it's just a really awesome thing. And, uh, you know, people tend to plug it in and start using it. And so if you're wondering what dimensions are, we have videos on those as well. <laughs> but what happens sometimes is that you go, hey, I wish I had made that dimension in there and now I don't have it and what can I do and if I start mid-year with a new dimension so here we can see the dimensions that we have um, the dimension is going to build up with half of the or you know a portion of the data not the full data for the year so this actually might be a good time to start using a new dimension uh, because you'll get a full year of that dimension into the bookings and uh, one of the things that's kind of nice especially is that um, if you are categorizing things on the income statement which you usually are like revenue etc so if i go here into uh, the chart of accounts uh, and take a look at that for example so our income statement is of course above forty thousand in this case uh, and here I have some net change values. And when you close the year, um, you close offsetting entries to all of the accounts on the income statement, right? And so they all go, go down to zero, which means that if you introduce a new uh, dimension, then you're going to have that dimension clear uh, because all of the old values have been already closed out. Uh, just to show you that in this case, I'm actually using 2018 to demo. And if I add a filter here on the date and put in uh, C123117, oops. You can see that if I go into my net change, uh, it's all zero. So I'm using that fictional date, uh, C123117. And I can see that everything has been closed up. So, so nothing is happening. And actually in 2018, 2017 has been closed out in the demo database. Um, so definitely think about using a new dimension or introducing a new dimension and, uh, and starting the year out with those dimensions. Uh, but this is exactly the time to do it. So I hope that was useful. Uh, thanks for watching.